Welcome back to the channel y'all. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best saltwater fishing setup. So before we jump into this, I just wanna go over a few things. And uh, A is that this is all my opinion. So based off of like the fishing that I do, all the different styles I do over here in the saltwater, um, this is what I would say is the best like all around fishing setup. And B, I'm approaching this from an angle like um, you basically get one rod and one reel and you have to make that work for all the different styles you do. So um, this is inspired by a comment that I got from, I believe it was Texie Rocks in, on YouTube. I'll put his comment up on here. And basically he was asking for a recommendation on the reel. I kind of, we got it back and forth asking like, you know, do you want something all around or are you looking for a specific style? And he said an all around rod. So basically, I guess if you're like new to fishing or maybe you don't own a rod and reel yet and you want something that you can take and use in multiple different situations, that's the inspiration for this video. When it comes to a reel, I would definitely recommend a uh, spinning reel to any beginner. So if you're a beginner looking for like the best rod and reel, a spinning is probably gonna be your best bet. Um, I know for myself personally, when I first started fishing, I used a spinning reel. It was super easy. It's very intuitive. Like you get the hang of it quick. And as far as a casting, a bait caster, it can be tough. Like I remember my first time using a bait caster. It was like backlash central, backlash central, man. And I was always pulling out bird's nest and just freaking having to go through that learning curve. Definitely could take some time. Plus on top of that, I feel like it's easier to throw like a popping cork or a, a slip cork at the jetties uh, off of a bait caster or off of, off of a spinning reel than it is throwing that off of a bait caster. For whatever reason, sometimes with like changing up the weights constantly and having to reset your bait caster settings for uh, whatever lure you might be using that day, I feel like that could become tedious. Whereas with the spinning reel, you kind of just tie it and go. Overall, I would say something around like a 3000 size for your spool just because you know, that would be perfect for inshore, like reds, trout, flounder over here in the Texas area. And if you go onto the jetties, maybe you get into like a black drum, a, a bull red, or, you know, a uh, jack creval. That's like the biggest fish that I, I can probably catch in my area. Excuse me, in the styles that I do, I feel like a 3000 is big enough for something like that. And you hopefully won't get spooled. I've never been spooled on a 3000 and, uh, you know, we're still going good today. So um, a 3000 series spinning reel and uh, just if anybody who wants a recommendation, um, I'll just give you what I have on hand. This is the setup like in my head when I'm imagining the setup that I would use is something like this. So this is my 3000 uh, Shimano spinning reel. It's the Van Ford. And if you're looking for this one in particular and you see the power knob, that's this doesn't come stock on here. We had to put this on extra. So if you're driving yourself crazy looking for this exact setup, um, don't look for the power knob. Now that we got the reel out of the way, let's go on to the rod, which is where it really gets like, I'm kind of iffy on this myself. I think a medium power uh, fishing rod, like a seven foot medium power is what I want ideally, but I could even say maybe a medium heavy with like a moderate fast action tip could work just because um, you don't want anything that's ridiculous, right? Like let's say you're in the kayak or you're going weight fishing inshore and you know, you're casting all day. Um, having that super heavy rod, it can just be like kind of almost taxing to cast that nonstop over and over and over again, like every single cast. Um, whereas having the medium power, it's a little more limber and you're able to whip it around just a little bit more than a medium heavy. But on the flip side of that, if you're at the jetties more often and you want to have that like insurance that if something big, cause I will say I have brought in a jack on the medium power stuff. And I've also brought in a, a big old black drum on like, I think it was medium light. It might've been medium light. Um, <clears throat> and I will say it's not easy. Like it, the fight took forever and you know, you can get into the ethics of that. Like, is it bad for the fish? We released a fishy swim off just fine. But I will say that it, it's a lot harder and takes a lot longer to reel them in on a medium. If you have the medium heavy, maybe you could do that a little bit quicker, but I don't know that that's really up in the air. All I would say is like a seven foot rod, medium or medium heavy, depending on like what you think you're going to get into. Um, with like a moderate fast action tip on both. So um, obviously as you get into fishing, you learn more about it. Cause I'm, I'm really thinking uh, if you're watching this video, A, you're watching it to see like, what does this guy think of the best fishing setup is, or B, you're a beginner who's honestly looking for something. 
And my best advice would be like one of those. I think that would be a good setup that you could take to a lot of places. You could go to the jetty. You could go throw a popping cork weight fishing. You could go throw the slip cork at the, uh, at the jetty. You know, you could do a lot of things with that setup there. And I think it would be, you know, good. It would be good for a first rod and reel. Um, and like I said, obviously, as you learn more about fishing and you find like, okay, I might need this for this situation and that for this situation, you'll start to grow like a, a bigger arsenal of rods. Like I've got so many different rods for so many different things now, it's crazy. And um, that's just honestly to avoid <laughs> having to retie all the time. I know it sounds lazy, but it's uh, like we got a popping cork set up, a slip cork set up, and you, you will probably grow to that too if you seriously take up the hobby of fishing. So um, I do, I do want to say lastly because I forgot to mention the rod just in case you are looking for a recommendation this isn't even my setup this is like what I would like to have my my setup I've got a, a St. Croix medium light so I say I want a medium or medium heavy I'm over here rocking a medium light right now and it's not it's not the move I would not suggest medium light medium at the least um this is the Arius Let's see can we get that in there get that in there the Arius this is a medium action by old 18 um, it's, I think, I don't know if you'll be able to get this in other spots. It's a Texas brand. It's made by like veterans and, uh, it's, they're all handmade. It's pretty cool. Um, but this is the rod that I like, or I would like to use. I have it on like a couple of my bait casters. It's really smooth, but I really need one for the spinning rod. So hopefully I get that soon, but that's going to do it for this one, you guys. So if you liked the video or you learned anything new, please go ahead and smack the like button. Uh, for more content like this, tips, fishing videos, and cool stuff like that, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.